Once you're on the Help Kids Learn website, you can go into Choose It Maker 3 to create your own online activities. And this is where you'll find the spot that you need to enter your username and password for your online subs subscription. And once we've entered those, we hit login and we're ready to hit the big green button and launch CM3. Here you'll find some sample activities that you can have a look at. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the odd one out. You select it, you'll see it highlighted green and then you can click on play. This takes a moment for the activity to load. So you'll see the little loading Find bar. the odd one out. And then it'll launch straight into the activity. And this is our odd one out. So once we click on the correct answer, Find the odd one out. You'll also notice with this activity that if we hover our mouse over the pictures, <coughs> that there's actually sound attached to those pictures. So that's an option that you can choose uh, when you're creating the activity. Now we'll escape to get out of the activity. And what we'll see is this um, progress and feedback type chart shows us uh, on the left hand side how long we were in the activity we can see how many questions we answered and then of those questions which ones were uh, correct on the first attempt so that's some good recording information that you can gather from the activity and also a nice visual representation on the right hand side with your score and your achievement so we'll exit and get back to our main screen and quickly just show you in the bottom left hand corner the settings that you can uh, arrange for all of the activities. So if you've got a particular student who might have some physical access issues, here's where you can uh, select the access method they might be using. We've got mouse, touch screen and eye gaze, particularly if the student has an eye gaze device or attachment on their screen. And that's where you can adjust the dwell time for selecting items using their eyes. If we're using mouse or touch screen we can select switch access options and if we were a single switch user you've got option for uh, adjusting the scanning speed. We also have an option of switch delay from the menu on the left hand side and this is particularly useful for some users who might have difficulty uh, selecting the switch they might have a tremor so you can have a pre-acceptance delay which means the switch needs to be held down for a period of time before it's uh, recognized as a switch press we've got our reward uh, features that we can change we might want to just have animations or just have sound you can have both and then you can um, choose the amount of time that you want them to play for so you can go up to 20 seconds uh, for most children, I tend to go for a, sh a shorter amount of time um, and then they've got to quickly get into their activity again to get another reward. You've got colour options that you can play around with and then there's also mouse cursor which can be great for uh, individuals with vision impairment or those that might be using um, switching where they don't need the mouse cursor. So you've got the default mouse you can change to a big mouse cursor, you've got a crosshair option or no mouse at all. So we'll just stick with default for now and go click on OK and back to our main screen. Now I'm going to show you how you can quickly create an activity where you can see uh, as I click on make a new activity I need to enter a title for that so word picture match will create and just a bit of a description student needs to match the written to a animal picture. Okay. Now the first thing that comes up as we're about to create our activity is a big hint that we need to create a new page. So we click on that and we've got a default template which we can play around with. So we can see down the bottom in the easy flow editor 
um, we're currently in page layout. So we can add more boxes, um, whether they're text boxes or if we selected um, pictures, we could add extra picture boxes. So I'm going to have three. You've got option to remove those. You can make a duplicate. And you've got some color options you can play around with, with the boxes and the text boxes and so forth and the background. So while we're here, we might change the background color to a yellow. Okay. Now we're going to add our text. So I'll just click up in that text box and add the word cat. And whilst we're in that text box, we could move over to the text tab at the bottom of the screen where we can edit that. Um, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. We can now go to pictures and we've got several options of adding pictures. I'm going to click on the first picture box and choose a picture from the media library. You can see here that you've got the uh, inclusive media library and then you've also got a couple of big folders for symbol sticks and widget um, symbol libraries. So you've got well over 30,000 symbols that you have access to. We'll go into animals and amphibians and I'm going to choose a frog. Okay. So I've added the frog. I actually don't want the text there. That's a little bit of a help in terms of matching the word. So we'll go back to the text tab and remove text. And then let's click on our next picture. So we're ready to add another picture. This time I'm going to add from the computer. So what I've got on my actual hard drive and go into find my picture on the computer and open. Again, I'm going to go to text and remove text and then I'll choose my next picture which is actually going to be from the internet. So if I click on that option, it actually gives me a few instructions. I need to find the uh, web address, the URL to post into that box. So I've searched a bit earlier. Let's go across into our search for a picture of a chicken and I have uh, one that I've found. So to add that in, I'm going to right click and copy that image address. Go back to my Choose It Maker program and paste that address. Okay, so it gives a little tick and we'll click on OK. And sometimes you need to give it just a little bit of a moment to pull that picture up. There we go. Lovely. You'll also notice down the bottom that we've also got an option to add a webcam picture. So that's an option if you wanted to take pictures of um, individuals or you had items that you wanted to hold up to the webcam. And we can also edit our pictures if we go into this purple tab and do some fun editing. So if I choose my green frog and select paint, it brings up a little paint uh, pop-up and I can um, use the fill option. If I choose a color like a dark green color and choose fill, I can um, edit my uh, parts of that frog that are shaded there. So you can just see the fill working. Uh, we could also add text or write on the frog, uh, do some cropping and erasing parts of the picture. So there's lots of different options to um, edit that particular picture and you can especially do some fun edits with uh, photos of people. So let's click on OK. We can see those edits have now been added to our picture. So we've got all our pictures and now we're ready to go in and save and close that. So before we say that we've finished the page, we need to select and you can see the little check marks have come up and you have to do that. So we need to choose whether um, or which options are correct. So the cat is in this instance. You might have uh, an activity where you need to choose uh, a few different options that might be correct. So you can do that if you want to. Now you also see in this save close tab that we can add a reward sound. So let's add, click on add. You can see that we can choose to speak um, a recording so we might say yeah you got the right answer or we might load a music file from our computer and if we 
don't um, choose any of those it will default to a, a music track so I'm going to leave that for now and choose finished page and now we can see our page one now we might add another page and, and um, add further pages for that particular activity we've got for the word picture matching uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to save the activity and now we can see it coming up in our main screen so now that that's highlighted let's have a little look at how that works we'll press on play let it load up And now all we need to do is match our word to our correct picture. So if we click on an incorrect one, we just get a little chick sound. Um, and if we click on cat, we have our reward animation and sound, which is what we set up um, as an overall thing in our settings. Uh, back on that main page so we could change that around we could take away the sound if we wanted to and just have the animation um, so there's lots of flexibility with this program so that's how you can set up an activity very easily in choose it maker 3